Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing with Japan. Alright, so a couple things to do in this episode before we get started where we should be declaring war on China. I don't expect to have uh, any issues that come up that prevent us from going to war this episode. It was supposed to happen last episode, but of course, they gave up this territory here, so we ended up uh, not going to war. And good God, guys, look at how many troops they have up on this border. Uh, the, the way this is going to work, I'm going to tell you right now, is uh, I don't see any scenario where we don't lose on this frontier. We're going to lose. Uh, it's just the way it is. Uh, they're going to push us forward or push us back here. Uh, there's really not much I can do about it. The win is going to be on the naval invasions. That's where we achieve victory, guys, because China never defends their ports. So we have to try and uh, get those naval invasions done and then take as much territory as possible, which is why we have this motorized division set up to do that. I guess one thing we could do, now we wouldn't be able to finish up this dockyard if we did it, which is almost done, so I imagine we'd want to finish that, uh, but what we could do is start building some land forts here, just the hope of trying to like cause more casualties them to them, not like you're going to burn out China's manpower, you know, because it's, it's China, uh, but at the very least what you can do is attempt to uh, burn out their equipment and just really prevent their... Uh, their attack here from from getting too far maybe and just cause a little bit of casualties is what I'm thinking So we can do that it doesn't take very long to build those level one forts uh, if we get up to level two forts That's a 20% modifier. Uh, it's not gonna help us win. Uh, you know, there's no again No scenario where I see uh, two divisions beating 13 divisions even if they're better designed uh, Without like much higher level fortifications, but maybe we'll get up to level two before the war starts. I'll have to see you guys so we can do that. Uh, another thing I had mentioned in my pinned comment on the last episode that I wanted to do is to go ahead and start our, our agency here. Now, given this is going to take uh, those so those civilian factories have building that uh, they're going to take uh, we're going to take five of them and do this, but that's okay. Uh, I really want to uh, to do this because if we could get some intel, um, and, and again, I don't know if we'll get the operative in time. We could all always delay the war for like a month or two because remember uh, we have three months before it expires once we get it. So we could always delay the war for like a month or two to make sure we get the operative, maybe get a little bit of intel up. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll get the intelligence agency going. I should have got that earlier. I originally wasn't doing it because I wanted to use the civilian factories for building. But as soon as we had a full line and then five factories, we should have done that. Uh, another thing I should have did, some of you guys pointed out, is I should have sent up uh, Sente and, and Attache probably to the Spanish Civil War. Uh, the only war that's going on right now is in the Pakistan one. So I would send it so that we can get some more army experience to kind of make the final adjustments to our division designs. I always forget about the damn attache uh, when we have the political power to actually do it. So maybe we'll do it if we ever get enough political power. I don't know. There's still a lot of stuff to get here. So, uh, but man, we could really use that army experience. So there's that. And then the last thing is we need to uh, go ahead and set these up so that we can put the radar onto these ships. Uh, so our tank cruisers, our destroyers, and the submarines. I had to think about it for a second. Yeah, the crew because we have the cruiser submarines, so they could put the radar on there. So that looks good. We'll just build one more of those, and then we'll get uh, the radar placed on each of those. So another thing uh, that was brought up is trading with them. I don't know where people got that we'd get. Somebody was saying like twenty something steel. It's not twenty something for us, anyways. Probably because of them changing up their uh, their subject uh, status here. They're no longer an Imperial Associate. You know, they are currently, whatever they are, um, Imperial Subject. So uh, because of that, we don't get as much resources, perhaps. I think that's what happened there. Because, yeah, a lot of people were saying, like, 20-something steel. We can't get 20-something, but we could get, for one factory worth, we could get, like, 16 steel. And I don't really want to give them a civilian factory so they can build up against us anymore. But you know what? We need to ask these guys for the rest of their troops. What do they got here? Looks like they have uh, plenty more to give us. So let's go ahead and take those. Now again, we won't be able to... Uh, some of these are our troops, aren't they? Um, make sure I got them all. Oh, we did it. So let's go ahead and send them over to this army here. Now we'll be able to send them all on the invasion again. But uh, they'll be able to, to join it later. Oops, they should have went here. And then have them uh, join their... Their compatriots. All right, so uh, we've got those guys set up, and then yeah, we can go ahead and trade with them, I suppose. Uh, instead of trading with the Germans, 
Now, I originally didn't want to because I didn't want to take up their autonomy, but if they're going to go, you know, free anyways, then what the hell does it matter? So we're getting eight here. We're short four, so we need 12. And I think we can get, yeah, 14. So we'll go ahead and, well, looks like we can only get 10. Okay, so we get 10 per, so I believe it's short two. I'm okay with that. And then we have the aluminum situation, which I don't know if they have any aluminum for us. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, they have eight actually. So yeah, we'll trade with them uh, for eight, I suppose. Let's go and do that. All right, excellent. So they'll take care of that situation. Uh, get us some, some more resources. And I think that's it. I think we're ready to go. All right, so took a little while for the in the start here to get all this set up. Oh, I set up the fleets too. Um, we'll go and let them move around and stuff. And the fourth international has happened. So we'll get them uh, moved around and uh, it looks like they're all set up actually. And then I can show you guys what we're doing with them. I'll show you when we set them up, when we start moving them around. But you can kind of see based on the icons what I'm planning on doing with those. So we did get the infantry weapon research bonus. So that will be nice. See what we want to get next. Uh, so I think we're continuing on uh, getting like bonuses here. Like this one would be great just to uh, build a research the uh, weapons and equipment stuff faster. That'd be really nice to have. Uh, we're kind of a ways away from the, the new ships and and uh, fighters yet. So let's focus on the infantry stuff. Let's get that one. That's a nice bonus. Uh, seems we're having some problems with getting resources from somebody. Hmm. Who's this? Uh... Oh, okay, it's the aluminum. Got it. So let's just, they only have one available, for, or excuse me, they have one less available for us. That's fine. Still short uh, on two steel, but that's okay. We won't trade for that. And we did discover a communist cell. Okay. Um, so that'll give us those decisions, which we'll have to use political power to, uh, to be able to deal with. And where are those? I think they're in their own little section here. And we'll be able to do these for a little while, guys, unfortunately. There's some great benefits there, but we got so much stuff to do. So it looks like this is the only one we found. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, it's it's very hard um, if you're active uh, for the communists to keep communist cells. Uh, we saw that in our own communist playthrough there. And it looks like the war is starting. Uh, so the German Reich declared war on Czechoslovakia. And I guess they immediately, you know, they didn't join a faction. Uh, the French joined the Pan-Slavic Workers Congress. I was thinking what happened was the Czechs joined the Yugoslavia faction, and then the French joined too because they were guaranteeing them, the Czechs. So not what happened though. Uh, I assume the Czechs will join the common term faction. Maybe, uh, maybe not, I mean, they're democratic, so maybe not, but we'll see. So yeah, the French are not in the common term, but are instead in Yugoslavia's faction. Uh, the Italians are not yet in the German faction. So Germany stands alone against Czechoslovakia, the French, and then soon Yugoslavia. So they're in a bad position, guys. Very bad position. We'll have to see what happens there. Definitely have to see what happens. So we got another dockyard. Uh, this is the one we just finished building. Although, yeah, yeah, I was going to say that might also have been one of the ones that I had set up here. And what happened to our convoy one? It's just gone. I know we had one set up for convoys, uh, but apparently we don't anymore. All right, so we're going to set it up again. Am I crazy, guys? Didn't I have one set up for convoys? Maybe I did it. So we'll set that new dockyard up for convoys so that we have that. But I could have swore we already did. And Romania joined that faction as well. Interesting. Very interesting. So the Hungarians, of course, were in the Axis, so they're in the war, and they are completely surrounded. Oh, the Hungarians are definitely going to be conquered. There's no way out of that. I don't know, guys. Things look bad for the Axis. Very bad. We'll just have to see how things develop there. And Czechoslovakia did end up joining the faction. Okay, that's what I thought. They, they seem to favor, like, who's in the war with them over over uh, ideologies. Uh, so that's that's typically what happens. All right, guys, so do we have troop training? I don't even know. Let's take a look. We do not. Uh, let's take a look at our equipment situation and see if we can we can do it. We can. Yeah, there's no reason not to have troops uh, going. So let's go ahead and build some troops up, guys. Let's go ahead and get a, a motorized division. And we are a little bit short on motorized, so we'll just build one uh, for right now. Well. Yeah, let's just build one. I just don't want to find ourselves in a, in, a, in a problem where we don't have enough motorized to replace losses, the inevitable losses we're going to take along that, that front line there. So we're going to get one motorized division. Uh, tanks haven't been done yet, so we're not going to get those. I'm trying to change up the marine division, so we won't get those yet. We can see how many we can build. We can build two. Once we're up to not quite double the number that we have, I mean, really, once we can build two divisions, or maybe three, 
We can build two right now. Once we can build three uh, marine divisions, we're just going to change up this design and get them up to 20 width. Uh, so we'll wait to do that um, before we build any more. And we can't get regular infantry, so let's go and do that. Uh, we won't get them anything. We don't have any experience any damn way. So we should put, we're short a few things, uh, but that's okay. Let's get like five. Yeah, hopefully we should be out of the hole by the time they finish building. So we'll get uh, five divisions or, or finish uh, training. Communist threat receding. We should mop up the few cells we know about. All right, and we did get section three, uh, our intel agency, which of course we could change up the, the, the name if we wanted to, change your icon. This is the, the Japanese icon. We're gonna leave it all as is. And so we'll get our first operative in 29 days. Uh, you need to have an agency with three different branch upgrades to become spy masters. We won't be able to do that yet. We could go ahead and start working on some of these, which I think we should. Uh, remember, they have changed up a lot of stuff here. Could get the uh, cryptology department. That's eight civilian factories, though. We really can't invest in that right now, guys. Uh, so instead, let's get some stuff that's going to help us out uh, with intel, which is what I really want. And I want army intel first. So let's go and get that. And that is going to take, you know, some civilian factories, of course. Uh, these are only five, though, so we will invest the, the five civilian factories. That doesn't mean we aren't going to get as many forts built in time, but that's okay. Uh, the forts weren't going to stop in any damn ways. Uh, they're just going to do more damage to the Chinese. There's no stopping uh, what's going to happen here. Uh, they're going to push us back. But that's okay. Again, not too worried about it. Uh, we should take a look and see if any of our generals have anything while I'm, while I'm looking at this. Nothing here. Could of course get the scavenger, but not really keen on that one. Nothing here that I want. Let me just check if anybody else got anything. Uh, these guys, um, which army is this one? Oh, they're on this front. They definitely should have a defensive general. Uh, so maybe our, our best defensive general here? Yeah. Uh, well, either one of these would work, in fact. Uh, we could give it to him because he has some better, better stats. Are they both reckless? They are both reckless. He has the uh, trickster. And you know... The way I feel with, with this army is we don't really want a good commander since we're going to be changing them up, but we don't have anywhere else to put them, so we can always change them later. Uh, so for right now, I'm going to give him this general. He has the Gorilla Fighter, uh, which we could do to make a very good defensive general if we wanted to, and I think we're going to. Let's give him the Gorilla Fighter. I don't give very many generals the Gorilla Fighter, but it is a decent trait to have. As far as supply goes, a lot of people were worried about me not building infrastructure because of a... Uh, you know, we're worried about the a lack of supply here. We don't have a shortage of supply right now. Uh, and we're not really even remotely close to using all the supply up. So I just don't see the point of building infrastructure that we don't need. Uh, so we're not going to. If I need it, I'll build it. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, there's just... We got too much stuff to too much stuff to build, guys. Sorry for the loud sound in the mic. Uh, so we did finish up our, our Wurgle. Now, we, remember, we got it here in mid-October. And... Uh, we can do another anti-communist sweep. Just take a look here. Is this, this is the one that reveals it, right? Let me just... All the names, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, I think this is the one that reveals if we have any uh, issues, which we're just not going to do that again. We already we just did it, and we've taken care of everything we found there. Uh, so shouldn't need to do it again for at least a little while, because uh, remember, it is limited by how much political power the communists have, uh, the PRC has. So what do we have left to do? I guess we're just building up these forts, what we could do is just go up to like level two, and I just don't see us going any higher than that, guys. That's just it's just too much. And if we're building, if we have our full factories assigned to that, when would we get that done? Looks like it's about eleven days apiece. We can see how many we can get done before the you know before we we lose our. And we'll let that guy train. While we're not at conflict, and if these guys have any more uh, units, we don't want to take them. It doesn't look like it. Uh, so yeah, we can just wait, and what we'll do, when do, when does this run out? We definitely don't want to lose the Wargle. Hmm, looks like we won't lose the Wargle because of the, uh, okay, that's right, because it's a claim state one. Well, let's just let it play then, and get those fortifications built, and uh, then we'll send the, the Navy out uh, right before we're ready to go to war. We'll get all of them set up and stuff. Uh, they're already set up in their units, but, you know, we got to give them orders. Uh, so we did get another passive bonus. That's another advantage of us having waited here. I mean, having waited, there are, you know, some great, you know, things we're getting because of that. Uh, even though I, I kind of wanted to get into the war as quickly as possible, and it didn't happen that way. 
us uh, taking a bit longer, you know, is getting us some good stuff. So there's that. Uh, let me just see what we want to get. We're already working on this here. Uh, I'm just trying to see what all we still have left. There's the radar stations, uh, which I imagine we just finished up. Let, let's get the, uh, well, that's 1939. Never mind. Is there no passive bonuses left to get? I, we might have to work on some ship stuff, guys, because I'm not seeing anything we really need. Uh, you know, anti-air and anti-tanks, that's not really a priority with who we're going to be fighting. Uh, we do want the amphibious tanks, but that's a little bit farther ahead. And I don't want to work on 1939 techs yet. I think it's just too early for that. Could get some units here, but you know what, guys? I kind of feel like uh, let's just work on naval stuff. Uh, we always are going to need more than more naval stuff. Uh, I guess we're going to get this here, uh, catapults. And did we finish up building something? I think we did. I think we finished up building the destroyers. So what we want to go and do is find them and then uh, just change them up. Uh, so we don't need to look at these ones. We're going to keep that guy there, though. And let's go ahead and give him some radar, though I should change him to a B first. Oh, shit. What happened there? Oh, I hit the equal sign instead of delete. <laughs> a equals B because math. Uh, so what we want to do is uh, change. Okay, so those guys are going to stay sonar, and then this one becomes radar, yes. I'm gonna give him the radar. It's only uh, five experience. Let's go and save that. And then we're gonna go ahead and get these building. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. It wasn't the destroyers I finished up building. What was it? Oh, it was the submarines. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, whatever. Um, that's fine. I, I don't know why I thought it was the. I just can't read, apparently. So these are the, the destroyers. They're done. I guess we also have to do the submarines now. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. And that is, of course, going to be the cruiser submarines, and we'll change them up to B. I don't know how to muck that up, guys. Uh, give them the radar. Let's save that. And then get them building. All right, so they'll just have one dockyard for now, and then they'll get one of these dockyards here. All right, uh, so we need to change these up to go here now. All right, excellent. Uh, so we can go ahead and take a look at this destroyer, or excuse me, submarine and get him training up and it looks like we also have this level one destroyer done uh he is, he's in the mummy class the mummy class is our, our worst class they're, they're pretty garbage overall uh so I, i'll wait to break these down guys i'll wait until we're ready to actually go into the conflict and get them assigned all right so yeah we have those outdated sub hunters building but that's fine now we're just gonna wait till we get these level twos done and uh, then we'll declare war. Uh, so we got the army department done, so that's going to give us some intel there. We're also getting the operative. That's going to be one advantage to get some intel here on China. And so let's go in and go after economy and civilian. More than likely would be the best thing for us to get, I think. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We could also work on something that would help us on a, on a particular mission. That would be one uh, other option that we could go for. Uh, you know what? Let's just go for the economy civilian. Uh, it only takes five uh, civilian factories, too, so that's nice. And our operator is, in fact, ready. Okay, so we need to go ahead and get somebody assigned. They're all going to be uh, Japanese nation nationality. Uh, and we're just going to pick this based on who's got the best traits. Although you can now get rid of operatives. Uh, you know, you couldn't do that before. Uh, you, once you got an operative, you're stuck with them forever <laughs> until they died or whatever. Uh, but yeah, now you can uh, select different ones. So we have Ito here, and she's tough, and a demolition expert. We got a safe cracker, another safe cracker, and an escape artist. Okay, so basically the choices are between the two ladies here, and which one would be, uh, you know, better for for the stuff we're going to be doing. I kind of feel like, um, you know, it's really just between tough or the uh, escape artist and. Because yeah, we're not really doing either of those missions, so I think uh, escape artist, uh, you know, avoiding getting caught would be better than if you did get caught and then you don't give as much intel. So we'll get her. And what we're going to have her do, our first operative, is the only thing that really would make sense for us to do, and that is to start getting intel on China. We will have to move her. You know, we might as well just probably move her now, actually. And have her, have her go over there because she's going to get removed and we'll lose all of our intel network. Although I, I heard that that might be changed. Now, I haven't seen it for myself but before. If you moved an operative out and you had no operatives getting an intel network on a country, then you just lost all of your intel network that you had worked on. 
Uh, but now it's supposed to like slowly tick down from my understanding. Uh, once you lose all your operatives in there, just don't have any operatives doing it. It's supposed to slowly t uh, tick down. So that's the case and India and, and Pakistan are done. I forgot to send the, uh, yeah, yeah, the attach. I always forget guys. That's pretty standard for me. Um, we got the supremacy of technology. Excellent. So what do we want to get next? Uh, so of course can sign the tripartite, tripartite act, excuse me, and could then continue down this way, which gets some uh, great stuff for us. Uh, let me see what other options we have available to us. There's the bicycle battalions, which are always nice to have. And let me see. Uh, yeah, that's right. We actually can still get this one. Okay, it's just these two that are optional. All right. Well, yeah, I actually didn't know that. So I think what we'll do, let me just see here. Oh, that would be really nice to have. I think we're going to go ahead and get the research bonuses here for the modern artillery. Let's go and do that first. And then we'll, because we do have those 1939 techs we'll want to get. And we have some military factories available, the one we just built. It's going to get that assigned, or, or I don't really know, maybe we got that from somebody else actually, because we haven't built that one military factory yet. So let's go and take a look at the uh, situation. Some port equipment is in fact what we are doing the worst on. Motorized is actually a lot better. Uh, so we want to build more motorized units, and then we'll take a look and see what we want to adjust based on that. Uh, and see where else we should put this. Probably close air support is what I'm thinking. Yeah, you know what? Let's do close air support. And then let's get some more units uh, constructing because I wasn't able to build as many of these as I wanted to. Yeah, and support equipment is really where we're lacking now. So we'll build one more of these. And then maybe uh, a couple more of these. Yeah, it looks good. And now we're going to want to uh, change up our factories just to get a bit more going into that support equipment since we really need that. And any new factories we get will go towards the uh, artillery. In fact, this probably looks a little bit better like that. All right, fantastic. So it changes up our resources a little bit. Uh, short on two aluminum, I'm not going to trade for that. Uh, however, we'll have to trade for some steel, though it does seem that they have more steel for, um, for us. So we're going to do that. All right, excellent. And yes, they're gonna keep messing me up with that. I don't see any divisions here. So remember, we're just getting the uh, fortifications built up. It looks like it's about a little bit less than a week, I think, for each one. Yeah, I mean, that one was, was already slightly built there. Uh, we got the communist cell discovered. Okay, we should strike it once, so let's go ahead and do that decision since we know about it. And just get rid of it so we don't have to worry about uh, any problems there? And you know it's only 10 political power, which is why it's so difficult for the AI to, or for uh, PRC to keep stuff here if, if you know the people are being active. All right, so we've knocked out that. Let's see what we want to get next. I almost want to not get anything else so that we can go ahead and get. Yeah, we're not going to get anything else, guys. I want to get that other operative, of course, uh, which requires three. But you know what? I really want to get these built. So this will allow us to build it a little bit faster. Uh, did I actually accidentally build too much? Oh, were we still building these ones here? Yeah, it looks like we hadn't finished those just yet. Okay. Yeah, all right, I guess when I, I clicked on one of these, it ticked it up to top. Yeah, that's what happened. All right, my bad. Well, I'm good, uh, or I'm glad I, I noticed that. Uh, so we do, can modify our government, so let's go ahead and do so. The 1940 uh, plain text, we definitely want to have that by that time. I really feel like we should just save up and get our doctrine, though. Or, excuse me, our theorist. I think of it, that'd be really nice to have. Yeah, let's go ahead and save up for that. We could also go ahead and get some of our people here to get us a, you know, obviously to get us a, a nice uh, passive bonus for our war. And, and I almost want to go ahead and do that, guys. I feel like the uh, advisor that'd give us the best bonus for this war would be uh, our infantry expert, uh, Okamura. And he gives a division attack and defense. And that 15% defense would be uh, really helpful on this northern front. Uh, that's like a, a fort and a half. So yeah, we'll take that, guys. That'd be helpful. Uh, so we got an improved airplane, airplane catapult. Excuse me. Uh, so we are close enough to 1939 to work on some 1939 techs. So let's go ahead and start with the industrial techs. Try and make sure we get this uh, situation with our uh, equipment uh, fixed as best as possible. Again, we're almost ready, guys. We almost got these damn forts built. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take, uh, but I think it would be good to have it. I mean, that's 20% bon uh, bonus, guys. That's not bad at all. All right, getting that guy trained up, too, and we might have more troops here we can take. No, we do not. All right, well, let's go and get the, the plane or the ships 
Now we'll wait. Wait just a little bit longer, guys, and then we'll get the ships designed. Since it looks like it's going to be about January, some point, 1939. Yeah, that's what it's going to be, unfortunately. All right, we'll have... Yeah, we're almost there, so let's go ahead and wait just a little bit longer. And there is a civil war in New Zealand, of course, because they've gone that route. They're going to have civil wars and or they can have civil wars in all the countries. I suppose we should take a look at what's going on here, uh, and it's exactly what I expect, that Germans are losing. There's just too many countries. Uh, so Czechoslovakia is pushing forward, Yugoslavia is pushing forward, and uh, France is pushing forward. So we might not have an access. It might just be all communist all day, man. I think that's what we're gonna have, is a big, strong, uh, you know, communist, you know, not really, faction because it's going to be two separate factions with the common turn and the pan-slavic workers congress it's interesting guys yeah we'll have to see guys we'll have, we'll just have to see what happens i think this is going to be a lot different campaign than than any of us probably would have expected with it uh so let me see how we're doing we get this one done on the 3rd of january and then we have one more left this is the 8th of january but of course it's only because i have five factories towards it so it should be much sooner so on the first, we'll go ahead and get all of our ships assigned. All right, so let's go ahead and start throwing these guys out there. So basically the way I have these guys composed, I have a 10 task force of five submarines each. Uh, these are all old submarines, so if they get sunk, they get sunk. Uh, let's go ahead and do convoy rating, of course, in all the sea zones around our enemies. Uh, so we'll do, and that's a lot of uh, submarines to do convoy rating. And so we should be able to completely shut them down on trade. And any troops that try and go in the sea will die as well. Uh, so we'll do that. That's probably overkill. It's going to completely deplete our fuel, which, by the way, we've been stacked on that for a little while, so we could have stopped trading for it. But now we're going to need it, of course. Uh, and let's go ahead and get these guys assigned. These two task force are for our, uh, uh, our support, our invasion support. So both of them would be doing invasion support. Uh, which is right there and we're gonna have them do the invasion support in all areas where we have invasions going through of course oh we're not going through that area we are going through that area of course all right so we have invasion support there and then of course these are going to be our patrol uh ships we do have a little bit of a, a fleet to sink uh, it's not going to take long more than likely uh but we will go ahead and get these guys assigned here make sure that uh, we we get them sunk uh, so we'll go ahead and do that and then we, we could have had these all in the same task force but I want to get some generals uh, or excuse me some admirals trained up we got Yamamoto in charge of our main fleet and uh, this is so this is the main one with all of our, our carriers and they're gonna be on strike force and then this one will also be on strike oops will also be on strike force and those are two uh, two task force that have you know some of the bigger ships in it. So in this one we got three carriers, the best carriers that we have, uh, five battleships, ten light cruisers, twenty-four destroyers. Uh, in this one we have one carrier, and that's with our our Hosho, and they're just okay. This I think they only have twenty planes, three battle cruisers, five heavy cruisers, five light cruisers, twenty-two destroyers. So this is like more of a support one uh, more than anything. And then we have our two patrol fleets led by a light cruiser and accompanied by nine destroyers and these guys are done training so let's go and place this one into here and then what i'm going to do is just take out i'm just trying to see how many light cruisers he has his five and just kind of take out one of these crampier light cruisers and just kind of throw them over here for right now all right so uh the fleets here that are doing the invasion support are led by kondo and i chose that because he's got the fly swatter with the naval aa attack that's why i chose him to lead him uh, so, you know, if anybody bombards our, our fleets that are providing, um, you know, support for the invasions, then they'll have a little bit better attack, AA attack. Uh, for our submarines, we got Takagi. Now, we technically do have a Seawolf, uh, but he's only level one, and Seawolf is a really, really easy trait to get. Uh, so, I figured put a higher level guy in who has Spotter, and then we can then give him Concealment Expert. So the submarines are less likely to be caught, and then you can give them retreat chance. Now, of course, we want to get that sea wolf and get him the other stuff, so maybe I should have waited to do all that, but yeah, that's what he's got now. Uh, so we're going to give him that. I don't know if any other guys have anything to get. We have a uh, cruiser captain in there, and yeah, why not? Uh, we have one light cruiser in there, 
uh, or excuse me, these are these guys, so they actually have several light cruisers and several heavy cruisers. So could do spotting speed. You know what, we're not going to uh, give him spotting speed because that wouldn't be useful for his current task. Uh, and then of course Yamamoto has some upgrades as well, which are gonna be, you know, based on his air controller stat. So we can choose to, we can only choose one of these. And so we can either make the fighters better, the dive bombers, close air support uh, better, or the naval bombers or, you know, torpedo bombers. And of course we're gonna do torpedo bombers. I think that's the obvious one to do um, in this case. As far as, I don't really see us doing any of these. We don't really have to worry about visibility. That might help against the Americans maybe, but you know, I, don't, I think there's better stuff to get for him. So I believe, oh wait, there's one more. Uh, the miners, they're gonna be mining stuff up. And of course we can't do the mining just yet. Uh, as far as um, why I picked him, I really is just cause he had this battleship adherent with the negative AA attack and I just didn't want to give that to anybody else. He's level two. So I mean, help out. I mean, the point is for these guys to stay out of, out of battle. So hopefully they don't get caught. He doesn't have any stats. Uh, so that's fine. All right. Uh, if we had another spotter, I would have given him that, but we already had assigned that one spotter. So now we're just waiting uh, to get these uh, three forts built and we're getting nice passive bonuses as well uh, through getting these techs. So we're in 1939, so we're going to get the infantry equipment. That is not a passive ten, uh, passive bonus though, so something to consider. Um, I almost want to just go ahead and get something else for right now, uh, like for instance the fuel refining three, because fuel is about to become a major issue for us. So yeah, I think that'd be good uh, to get that. And given all of our ships are kind of moving around now, I'm going to keep the since we're, we're literally just about now to go, go into war here. We've got. What is this, 11 days left? So I'm not gonna pull the civilian factories back for just 11 days. What we can go ahead and do is start getting uh, something else and we got rid of them all, hopefully. Uh, what we can go ahead and do is get something assigned here. Uh, I would like to get more fuel silos as well as some more synthetic refineries. Let's do one synthetic refinery just because this is gonna be such a problem. Uh, so I wanna get that and maybe two more military factories as well. Uh, yeah, let's do two more military factories and we should probably consider doing some more civilian factories too because we are still kind of building fairly slow. Uh, so let's go ahead and do two more military factories because uh, make sure that our equipment situation hopefully is uh, dealt with. And, and I know we are still short on support equipment. That's all right. Uh, as far as um, our planes go, we do have a hundred fighters. What I'm gonna try out guys, let's try something, something a little bit different here uh, using the new mechanic. Uh, so we're gonna put a hundred interwar fighters here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it a reserve air wing. So they always have planes that are decommissioned in them. So we're gonna try that out uh, for once, see how that ends up going. And then we'll go ahead and train them up until they're done training. Of course, we'll probably, you know, we won't get them done training before the, the conflict starts. Uh, we do have uh, planes here that we can add uh, over to here. It looks like this guy is, is done. So let's go ahead and move them over here. And I think I accidentally set them on regular exercising. Uh, and we'll go ahead and sign these guys here. Take care of, you know, actually right here. Uh, I mean, remember they have like 10 ships, so. And when I'm gonna do naval strike, I'm gonna just go on and sign. Oh, you know, we'll wait. We'll wait, there's no reason to, to use fuel. Not that we aren't stacked on it anyway. And Bangladesh declared war on Pakistan, so that's right, they're all breaking apart as expected. And they did end up having that white piece, despite the fact that Pakistan was kicking butt. Uh, so remember, we get this on 16th of January, and that's all we're waiting on. And there we go. All right, excellent. So let's go and get everybody assigned. Uh, let's get the planes out there flying, naval strike here. And we're just gonna see how this goes and just hope it goes well. <laughs> that's all you can really do, right? Uh, and is this all the same zone here? It is. All right, so we're gonna wanna make sure, I think, wait a minute, oh, no. All right, so we're gonna want them here then. Yes. Yes, that's what we're gonna wanna do. We could, of course, assign the fighters here uh, once the invasion hits so that we can have air superiority in this region. Uh, for right now, we should have it here where we're going to be defending. All right. Uh, so I want to say we are ready to go. Uh, let me just see if there's anything we need to do with the units. No, we're good to go. We don't have any experience making adjustments. Yeah, I think we're ready. Let's go and pull the speed down a bit and declare war and just hope all goes well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to avoid bringing in my, my puppet here so we don't have to defend along there. We could, of course, pull it all the way back, uh, which we might want to do if they start trying to break through here. As of right now, I kind of feel like they won't be able to break through. Uh, but we'll have to see. Uh, so we declared war on China. Another thing we have to consider is are they going to 
uh, unite. Uh, is all China going to unite? That's, just, that's something we don't know yet. Uh, I haven't really been looking at the focus tree, so we're going to see now. Uh, we did get some good stuff here. Got to escalate the war in China. This is going to give us some nice uh, bonuses here. And just see here. The United States will gain some war support. Uh, and then we get those nice attack and defense bonuses. I don't know if they're for any certain amount of time. See, I was thinking that these were negative for them and not negative for us. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong here. I don't, I don't remember this mechanic. I don't think it was in the last time I played Japan. I certainly don't remember it. But, I mean, it looks like it would be something positive, right? So let's do it. And hopefully it's it's a positive thing. Uh, and I think it removed that, that modifier, at least changed it. I guess we'll see uh, what happens there. All right, so let's go ahead and start the invasions, guys. And hopefully they are successful. All right, so we're invading those ports there. Uh, we've already got our planes in the air. And, of course, they're going to attack us. And you can see that this is so bad. Despite our fortifications, we have no chance of holding out here. Yeah, that is absolutely terrible, guys. Absolutely horrendous. Now it actually went to green. Uh, I'm guessing our flame, our, our flames, our planes flying overhead. Yeah, we have flames over our head right now, guys. That's how we fight to scare the Chinese. Uh, so we are getting invasion support, of course. It looks like they did defend that port at the very least. Uh, and it is going to be an easy attack, of course. That's nice. All right, we actually are holding out here. They're not doing a lot of attacks yet, and they're just barely holding. But they are holding, so we'll take that. Uh, the yellow there, though. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Let's stop speculating. All right, so we have landed. Uh, so again, we want to send our troops immediately over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get them going now. Uh, these faster units. And how many do we have here? Uh, I think we have six, so we can do three of the motorized. All right, fantastic. So they're going to move on over here. And we're going to also get one of these infantry moving on over here, too. And let's go ahead and start pushing the front forward as fast as we can. All right. Let's go and grab that province. And just kind of watch these fronts here. It's going to be slow going, guys, because I, I do manually control all my divisions. If you haven't been on the uh, channel before and you didn't know that, that is how I roll. Uh, I like uh, controlling it all myself. Uh, so I do find that really fun. Uh, but, of course, it is also really slow. Uh, so let's go and take all the divisions that are here and get them assigned. We should probably get some uh, planning bonuses for whenever they are sitting still, which isn't going to be often, but when they are sitting still, we want them to, to have a, a planning bonus. As of right now, the warlords have not joined the conflict, uh, so I don't know, maybe they won't create a faction. That would sure be advantageous to us, man. Good God, that would be really nice. We'll see. We'll see what happens, guys. All right, so just one invasion left to do here, and we're going to tell them know they cannot join our conflict uh so let's go ahead and take these guys and sign them over here uh we still have to wait until but i, I almost wanted to go ahead and send them could wait until that invasion is done but yeah i'm just not willing to so uh, let's go ahead and send it now remember it already planned up because we had it sitting there so we don't have to wait for the planning uh, let's go ahead and make sure they push forward all right just trying to take as much territory as you can. That's really the only way I find that you can beat China uh, quickly is with the fast divisions. And they're going to probably pull some of these off here to deal with the naval invasions. We'll have to see. That's what it looks like. They're certainly moving, so I expect that they will. Uh, we did get maintenance companies, uh, so that's good. We'll have to add them to our division designs once we have the experience for all that. Uh, remember, we do have the 1930. Whoa. We are in 1939, so we could go ahead and get the 1939 uh, techs here. Probably get the engineer companies. I find those really useful. Could also do the field hospitals for the, the manpower bonus. Let's go and start with the engineer companies, though. Let me just see if there's... Make sure there's nothing else that I, I really want to get that's like a passive bonus. I don't think so. I think those are the only passive bonuses we're going to get in 1939. Yeah. Uh, so... And when I say passive, by the way, just so that people don't know what I'm saying, I mean uh, that you don't have to build any equipment. You don't have to build any equipment to get that bonus, just to be clear. All right, so let's go ahead and get across the river here. Let's go ahead and move that way with this division as well. And just make sure that at all times we have divisions attacking. And this attack has been a little bit harder than I expected it to be. Looks like we'll end up getting behind them more than likely. And they have already sent units over here. Uh, they must have took the railroads. They moved very quickly. Um, and they're pulling divisions off in mass numbers here. Uh, so we'll have to see 
if uh, they're able to get here before I get to to Nanjing. Hopefully not. Uh, so they got a lot of divisions here, guys. So let's go ahead and have this guy go here, and then we're going to attack across the river to try and get over there first. We got the Modern Artillery National Focus completed, which does give us that artillery bonus. That's another good reason to have waiting, waited for the artillery uh, before reaching that, or researching that. Could we get the Armor bonus? Armor's not a big focus of this campaign, though. Uh, bicycle battalions are great, and I would like to build those. Uh, but let me see... I, I think we should start making sure that we have the, the 1940 research bonuses. And in order to get that, we're going to have to go ahead and get this now. So, because we've got to get the ship ones too. So we'll get the fighter one. Make sure that we're able to get all those once 1940 hits. And uh, have to see what our, our ships go out there and do. Right now, you can see we're not doing too bad on the fuel. Uh, so, don't need to worry about that too much yet. Just make sure these guys are set up to continue attacking. There's not a lot of troops here. Uh, so... We could very easily find ourselves in trouble. Same thing with this situation until we get more divisions over there. Uh, but this is taking forever, man. I'm, I'm surprised with how long that's taking. All right, so they did get troops over here in time to stop us. Damn. All right, so we'll attack there. And we're probably going to have to wait before expanding the front any further, guys, until we get the rest of these troops over here. I could attempt to, you know, push forward here. We didn't have that guy going there. I think we'll just end up getting cut off, guys. Yeah. And I, we got to wait for those motorized divisions. They weren't fast enough. And we are not fast enough on getting the troops over here, uh, unfortunately. Uh, they should start moving over to the front line now. Uh, but yeah, this was not quite uh, quick enough, I feel. Yeah, we just weren't quick enough. So that's a shame. Uh, but we might be able to start pushing forward here. Um, they did pull all those divisions back. They did barely even attack these forts. Maybe that was a complete waste of time. I thought they would attack more. They've been incredibly passive. They attacked in three provinces. That's it. And it just feels like that was a waste now. Uh, like We should have... Um, yeah, I don't know. We should have done differently. Uh, we can go ahead and get some units that are done training deployed. So let's go ahead and set them up into like some sort of training army here. And just go ahead and deploy all of them that are ready. It looks like they all deployed. Uh, how are we doing on equipment? Do we want to uh, build anything else? Kind of short on sport equipment, but that's that's fine. We can still train units up. Uh, let me just see. Do we have... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Do we have the equipment here? Uh, yeah, it's just support equipment. That's all we're lacking. So what to build? I guess we'll build one more. Uh, let's go ahead and set up the uh, training army site. I've got that set up. Uh, so let's go and take all these guys, get them into their own little training army here. Give them the, uh, you know, I might have them come over here instead. Uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's do area defense over here, and they're just going to guard the naval base. And that we're, what we're going to do... Let's go ahead and set all these guys up to deploy straight to them, uh, including the infantry. Let me see how many of these I can get. We might be able to make the change here. I know this is going to weaken them quite a bit, though, by making the change to units that are currently in combat. So we'll probably want to make all the change at the same time for the Marines, which means we need more experience. Uh, so we won't do that just yet. We won't build any Marines. Let's just build up some more of our infantry divisions. Ooh, we're really over oh, short on infantry equipment. Okay, uh, let's just build the one then, and we might even have to stop that shit if we run out of infantry equipment in our in our supply there, because uh, I don't really have uh, much building right now. So let's go and put our first factory into infantry equipment, because yeah, that's uh, clearly we're having a shortage there, and then we want to go ahead and make sure that these guys deploy to the training army. All right, excellent. So we don't have to mess with this anymore. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and. Get our troops uh, pushing forward on any open provinces. We have these guys coming here, so I'm not so worried now. Uh, and they're attacking us now. Uh, we are still pushing forward here. Uh, these guys should be coming up onto the front. Maybe they're not. Let's go and get them going that way. And yeah, we just didn't get here quick enough, guys. So we did not advance as much as, as, I, as I had intended to, to advance. I thought we'd make a lot better progress than we did. Uh, normally you gotta have that motorized just kind of racing towards the victory points and that didn't happen um, so I don't know guys I already have him going that way we'll have him will come up over here then did they leave the fronts undefended they did all right uh, they're gonna pay for that so we'll attack right there um, we could attack right here 
That'd be a win. Uh, just trying to keep them from pulling all of the divisions off, off this front line. Just make them pay for it and uh, make them take us seriously, man. Uh, so let me see how we want to do this. Let's get across the river here while we can. And I don't think we'll be able to win this attack. Nah, probably not. Uh, it's just one division. All right, so these guys are finally done. Let's go and take all of their army here. Get them going over there. And let's go ahead and give them an order. And get them expanding out. All right, so just go ahead and take one division and send them each to a province for right now. And if we have any extras, yeah, we do. We'll go ahead and take them and send him that way. Try and cut these guys off if we can. Um, we need to take these provinces right here to cut those guys off. All right, uh, so we're taking territory, getting some wins. Uh, let's see what we've done in the sea. Did we sink any of their convoys? Uh, no, they're actually bombing us. Okay, they're bombing our submarines. What a shame. <laughs> Looks like they do have some naval bombers or close air support that they've decided to use for naval bombing of all things. Uh, you'd think they would use it up here, but I guess if they don't have control of the sky, then yeah, I suppose it would be fairly useless. Uh, you know, this is going to be a, a loss. I thought that might be a loss. That was kind of a rough one. Not seeing any uh, openings here just yet. We might be able to win here, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I could try and cut them off, but you know what, guys? I'm just trying to advance at this point. And then support with those guys. Just get the wins where we can. All right, just kind of make sure that we always have troops somewhere. And yeah, we still haven't got the damn win there. I'm surprised. Uh, I held divisions back so they could join them there, and they still haven't really done anything yet. Let's go up this way. Uh, we have these, these motorized divisions. Not really in the best location, honestly. Uh, let's see if we can't get them going up. Uh, where is he going? He's going that way. Let's see if we can't get them going up this way. This is where we need them. All right, and then he's going to come up over this way. All right. Getting intense, guys. Almost got over there to that capital. 20 victory points there. Oh, so close. Looks like we should be able to get it, though. I don't want to move here because I know that they'll just cut me off if I do. I know they will. And they got somebody there. All right. That's a shame. But they are moving out, so maybe we'll get another chance to attack there. All right, let's go and push forward here. See if we can't uh, cut this area off where they're still winning on that uh, defense. Uh, we've had some difficulty there, guys. Uh, so let's go and attack over here, and this is where we'll cut off these troops that are here. Let's see, uh, looks like we are actually having to attack divisions. I have taken the railroads down here, and let's see, oh, we got grand battle plan. All right, so that's the max planning bonus. Doesn't really help us a whole lot at this moment, uh, but we do want to get the defense and organization for the infantry divisions. Won't be for another 355 days, of course. And uh, war bonds and industrial land appropriation. So we are... I almost want to do the war bonds since we are attempting to build so much stuff right now. Uh, but you know what? We got a lot of stuff we need to spend political power on. So I'm just going to... We're just going to save it up, guys. Uh, and we're going to do the war propaganda. And what's the other thing? Uh, industrial land appropriation. That's right. Uh, so to say we're not interested in that either. All right. Uh, I thought there's some... I was thinking we had some divisions up there. I was like, did we drop paratroopers I don't know about? Apparently I don't know the uh, our own invasion plans, man. You know what, I'm going to attack these guys. And hopefully it uh, goes all right. All right, so we are attacking into here. So let's go ahead and change these up now. Uh, so they're covering this for us. And then what we'll do is we'll just move some of the fighters. Move some of the planes down here. This is actually better coverage zone for here. So we'll actually probably just move them all here with the exception of one thing of close air support because close air support it does de depend on where they can bomb while the you know the fighters is just a matter of their efficiency so we're going to move those down here we're going to do more ground crews there as well we are yellow here uh, so we do not have control of the skies all right let's try again to get that that city uh i don't know exactly what they're doing here they don't seem to know what they're doing either they're a little bit confused Let's go ahead and support that. Um, it, it doesn't really matter because we're about to cut them off, but yeah, I would like to get the win there. And oh, the motorized is just sitting here. That's not good. Let's go and get them pushing forward. And these guys will go up there. All right, so, so far it hasn't been going too bad. They are beating us here as we try and take the city. That's a problem. We'll have to attack them now. Um, hmm. 
Not really able to do that until we finish up on this defense. Uh, but we will attack them. And let's just stop that because they're probably going to leave. Yeah, they're leaving any damn ways. All right, so... Uh, because you guys have taken so long, let's just take these troops. I should have did this in the first place. I didn't think it was going to take them that long. I wanted them over here, but yeah, that was kind of silly. Been some mistakes, but you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, guys. And uh, let's pull some of these attacks back that aren't working. And so we're going to take that province. Um, I feel like I should be able to win there, but yeah, you can't. All right. And we're no longer winning here either. Okay, because they move more divisions there. All right, so that's a problem. Uh, let's just stop the attack then and let them move them down here. And you know what? We're going to keep them there as well because I'm trying to cut these troops off. All right, so let's go ahead and go. Got that guy going here. Let's have him join as well. Try and get the win there so that we uh, can cut those guys off uh, from being able to retreat back. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward in many of these areas here. Attack that way. And still attacking there. We could probably get a win here now. Uh, we have less divisions along the front line. Still attacking right there. Um, I think what we're going to do is then attack over this way now. And you know what? I almost want to just, like, cut those guys off. Uh, looks like I didn't do that right. And what if we support that? Yeah, it looks like that should be a win. And then we'll just pull this back here. And then have this uh, motorized division come and get behind them here. Hopefully, that's the plan anyways. All right, so keep them on the front as much as possible. Uh, we had, we did finally land here. Good God, that took us way too long. Uh, that was a that was a tough fight, man. We did not have uh, a good time there. All right, so this is um, kind of a rough looking front, guys. I I didn't put enough blue army divisions here. You know what? Let's these guys are having supply issues. Let's move these ones over to this front then. Uh, and you know what? I think. This guy can't go here. Uh, we would like more divisions over here since we're trying to grab that damn city. Let's see if we can't help out here. Uh, it does look like that would be a win. Uh, and we could attempt an attack there, but that would not be successful. Uh, but it was enough to help out. All right, so let's go ahead and have these guys push them forward here. Looks like this is going to be a loss. So we'll stop it. God damn it. Attack right there, and I'm trying to pull this guy back, but not having a lot of uh, success with that. Let's go and attack those guys there. All right. So yeah, didn't didn't work well that invasion. That one was that one was a tough one. All right, so let's try here. No, no, this guy's way too weak. I need to get his organization up just a bit. Uh, he could cut us off here, so let's move that division over there. Uh, it doesn't matter. The whole front isn't covered any damn ways. So it really doesn't matter. All right. So, I mean, it's going okay. It, it could have gone better in in some some ways. Uh, it hasn't been perfect, unfortunately. Uh, this division is now cut off and ready to be destroyed. Uh, let's go ahead and have him go over to this front now. And uh, these guys are destroying that division. We don't really need that many to do this. So let's have them come on over to this front. All right, and he's coming over here as well. And we have more Blue Army Trumps, uh, Blue Army troops, excuse me, coming over to here, where we are vastly outnumbered. Yeah, this just did not go well uh, overall. I just didn't put enough divisions over there, and we didn't move fast enough. So that's going to be a problem. That's going to that's gonna hurt us uh, in the long run, is our, our lack of speed on this invasion. It's going to make the attack uh, probably take a little bit longer than I had wanted. Uh, so far, they haven't joined. The other factions haven't joined, which is very good, because if they had, this would be even worse uh, if they had joined. And this attack is not working. We gotta get these guys up on the front. You can see that their organization is garbage until they all get over here. And frankly, we don't need that front there at all. So let's go and get rid of that. Uh, whoever's here will go. Okay, it looks like they're already signed there. Alright, so let's just delete. Well, no, we don't wanna do that. Is it the Marine that's there? Okay, it's the Marine that's there. So, we'll just let him move. That's fine. If I move him anywhere, then, then uh, he'll lose his progress worked so hard all right so yeah just um this invasion down here not great uh definitely in a situation where we could get cut off here i want to cut these guys off but i gotta find a better location to do that frankly this is maybe if we attack here just to kind of help out on that defense and then same thing like here with these guys uh, well these guys are cad divisions they're not great for fighting but they are the ones that we got from our puppet uh just see what they're working on collective farms uh, so they're continuing down here. 
I wonder what they'll do next after they finish all these. There's not really anything else to do. Maybe they'll go for the Independence War there, and, and it would make sense because that's what I said they would do. They'd wait until we we're in the uh, in the war, and then they would uh, then they'd do it. So that would make sense. It'd be what I'd expect. Uh, let's go ahead and can we push forward there. We can't. What about here? We can. All right, so we're gonna attack there. Let's go ahead and help these guys out because they're still having issues there apparently. Let's go ahead and stop that attack. And what if I don't hear? No. All right, um, we are losing right there. Let's just stop that attack. Clearly, that's not gonna work. Uh, and they're attacking us there. And that's gonna ruin our own attack. Attacking there where we're losing. And we do have that one Marine Division. We're gonna get a sign there. There we go. Go and delete that front. And then probably have the uh, Pink Army cover a bit more because they're not really covering much for their division numbers. Uh, we need to break through here somewhere. I'm not sure how to do this now because yeah, I just didn't get the divisions that I thought I'd have over here. So yeah, we have some serious division shortages right now, guys, uh, down here in that southern front. This is a loss. Uh, I guess we'll just pull it back. Yeah, it didn't, just didn't go the way I wanted uh, there. Now we got the force rotation. Let's take a look at uh, what we want to get next. Uh, we'll probably, I don't, I don't know, we'll keep going down this right now. Yeah, I mean, it, it, these aren't really helping us that much anyways. And uh, this is the ace generation chance plus 10%. We're not doing interception, so we'll take a look and see if they have any uh, bombers out there. But when you have your planes on air superiority, if there's no fighters for them to fight, then they attack bombers. Uh, so it doesn't really, uh, the only way it matters is those bonuses with the inception or air superiority bonuses. That's the only real reason why you need to kind of uh, decide uh, on interception instead of, we're gonna go to get the radar, I think. Well, we could go and get more bonus. We have two going there. All right, well, yeah, let's go and go after the radar then. And mainly for the ships, that's what I really want them for. Could also build the radar here. Um, let me take a look. Are we ready to do, I think we are ready to go ahead and do the third one so that we can, so that we can get our uh, spy master. So far as which one we're gonna go for, probably should go for passive defense. Yeah, let's do passive defense. I'm sure the Americans are gonna be targeting us, so I think it'd be good to, to have that. And then once we do that, we'll be able to be the uh, spy master. Uh, we'll have three. Uh, so it's been tough, guys. Uh, so far, uh, it did not go the way that I wanted, and the way it's gone in Pat, like the last Japanese campaign I did, which I did for that short one, which I don't know that I showed the invasion of China for that one, but. Uh, it was very different AI. I know the AI has been improved a lot. China's been buffed in this most recent, recent patch, 1.9.1. They got buffed a little bit because they were getting conquered by Japan so quickly. Uh, we also have them ticked up by two difficulty modifiers. So it, it's it's going to be a tough fight. Uh, but I did expect this to go a little bit better than it has. Uh, it hasn't quite, we weren't quick enough. Uh, this was uh, definitely not quick enough. So it looks good in a way, you know, because it looks successful, but we needed to make much better progress than that, guys. Uh, the naval invasions were where the win is at, and we didn't get them. Uh, so this could end up uh, going bad if we can't turn it around uh, by getting some more bonuses, getting more troops over there. Uh, we have these troops here that are training up. We could always start throwing them over there as soon as they get to the train status. Uh, until we get up to the 24 divisions, at least in the in the blue army, uh, we could even throw another four into this pink army here. Uh, could also bring these guys in, but I really don't feel comfortable not defending this because they could end up. As of right now, they haven't created a faction, but they could. I, I don't know what's going to end up happening in that regard. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the casualties and end the episode here. Uh, so we haven't called our faction, our countries in, obviously. Uh, we could take a look and see if they have any more units for us. Yeah, they do. Uh, so let's go ahead and. Uh, request forces. Yeah, we got uh, more units here. Excellent. Uh, so let me just take a look. Where are they? Where are they all at? I see three. I see three divisions. They said they have seven. All right. Well, we can throw these three into this pink army here. And I guess that was it. All right. Uh, so we'll get them moving over there, and that'll give us a little bit more assistance on the pink front whenever the hell they get there. Uh, but let's go and look at the casualties, guys. So we've taken 6,000 casualties so far. Well, they've taken 49,000, so obviously much more. We currently got them at 19% uh, torch capitulation, but yeah, this is not where I wanted to be at. Unfortunately, it has not gone quite the well, uh, quite as well as I would have liked. Uh, you see, as far as field manpower, they almost have as much field manpower, or um, excuse me, we have almost as much field manpower as them, which is, is pretty decent considering the fact that they're China. Uh, that's still a lot, 900, at least 900 something thousand probably. 
Uh, and remember, a lot of our troops are, you know, off defending islands and stuff. So, yeah, it's they have a lot of troops in here. Uh, but I'm, I'm trying to go off of uh, quantity, or excuse me, quality over quantity. Uh, that our divisions are hopefully better than theirs. Uh, so, we also have control of the air. And uh, they probably are rocking mostly infantry equipment in their division designs. We're just looking at, yeah, it's all infantry. Uh, so, they might not even be using any artillery. I'm not seeing any artillery, uh, which then means that our divisions are, are vastly superior to theirs. So any individual division will be able to beat any individual division of theirs, but the problem is they have so many, so many divisions. But yeah, I think we can turn this around and, and we can get the win, guys. It just wasn't as uh, good as I would have liked. It wasn't as fast. Uh, we just didn't we just didn't move quick enough. Uh, the motorized didn't get, um, you know, when you don't put the motorized on the actual invasion and they come from these other ports, sometimes they just don't get there quick enough. Uh, I thought they would have, but yeah, they just didn't get there quick enough. Uh, the Chinese reacted very quickly. I kind of thought they'd be a bit slower uh, to get down here. They're very fast. Uh, so they did get to the front uh, uh, very quickly to kind of stop those invasions. And so we'll just have to see what happens, guys. Uh, but yeah, I do think we'll eventually get them defeated, but it's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, but we're seeing a lot of green, so that's good. Do we control the sky? Uh, we do. Uh, we do control the sky. Uh, they have... A few bombers, not much. Uh, yeah, so no reason to, to worry about those. I mean, it's 203 fighters is all they got. I mean, we only have 300, I suppose, but I'm sure that theirs are, are worse than ours. So we won't look at the air stats or anything like that. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, it's going all right, guys. Uh, of course, we do control the sea, as, as you'd expect. We got control of the sea here. Uh, we also finished up a ship here, a destroyer. Let's go and put him to that training fleet. We'll train up our fleets for now, uh, we might change it up later. And this is obviously overkill with the submarines, uh, and it's costing us fuel, so we could always pull some of them back. Uh, there's really no reason to put them all over there. Uh, I thought we'd at least be sinking something, but right now they don't have any ports left, do they? Yeah, they don't have any ports left, so really there's no reason to have any of the ships here. I thought that the warlords were gonna be joining, so I thought we'd have to cut all this here, that we'd have to wanna cut them off from trade this way. Uh, but none of this is necessary, so we'll probably pull the ships back to reserve fuel. Uh, because, you know, there's not really any reason to have them out there anymore. Uh, they have no ports left. Uh, so, hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I had fun. I always like doing the invasion of China. Uh, it's it's a uh, it's an interesting uh, invasion, you know, because it's so it's such a big country and they have so many damn divisions, but their divisions are crappy. Uh, they don't have proper air support and all that good stuff. So, it's a uh, it's always a fun fun invasion to do. You know, which is all about that speed. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next episode where we'll be continuing the invasion of China. Uh, after we finish with, you know, the main China here, I guess we'd have to go out to the Warlords if they still haven't joined the uh, war yet. Uh, so we might do that. Could also go ahead and just switch gears and go after the Dutch East Indies uh, while we can because, well, I, I just don't know what's going to happen. This has been a crazy campaign uh, with just the uh, focus trees. And this is how it's going in Germany. It looks like they... They haven't lost too much more territory no. so it's I mean, it's going okay. The Hungarians have, have lost a few provinces, though, so uh, I expect they'll capitulate. Uh, but I do hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.